that from mostly an aerospace and defense perspective, you have such flight critical nature of your products, you know, your, your, the components that go into that. So um, where 3D printing helps is not producing a lot of the parts that, um, let's say, structure or flight critical components, brackets, clips, et cetera, but more so in, in those easily uh, um, stockable gaskets, bearings, things like that, that um, could be uh, easily manufactured on the fly for the aftermarket. So let's say I'm, I'm running a large uh, maintenance repair and overhaul facility and 30% of my parts may be those quick consumables. Having a 3D printing capability there and being able to print on demand for those components, uh, vice having a large stock room or constant ordering process, would definitely lower the cost of overall, you know, the carrying cost of equipment and be able to have you kind of produce on demand those components. But we believe because, again, of the nature of the structural components and the flight safety critical or um, uh, just simply delivery capability critical components, uh, a predominance of parts will not be viable in aerospace and defense for 3D printing. It's more in that aftermarket use that we see the opportunities. So you have the U.S. government that may maintain a, you know, an F-35 fighter. And on the F-35 fighter, they'll have the full digital library of all the components on that aircraft. You could make an assessment, so for their, their ground support people who would be, you know, U.S. Air Force or U.S. Navy personnel, what products are, what, what components on that for maintenance of that aircraft would be viable for a 3D printing capability. So you can have a shop like the hangar we're in right now with F-35s working there and 8% of the products would be viable for 3D printing. They would simply go to the parts database, look up the 3D model for that, and print on demand, and in that repair hangar, they've got the printer, and, it, and 15 minutes later, they have their part. So, it, it, same would be true in a commercial support environment, or even you know, a general aviation environment like we're in right now, uh, that that application would be for any maintenance mechanic or, or repair facility, et cetera, to utilize.